hello again for the third time. I feel like I've known, or I feel I feel like I've seen you know you guys before, or or you guys have seen me. I'm back again, and my my haul. One of them was a in-store pickup. The other ones were uh, I I browsed around, <laughs> and I will show you what I grabbed. And I am I am freaking happy. Oh, first one I will start off with. That was my store pickup item. Happy to have it. And the moment I got there, and and I browsed the store before going to you know pick it up, or before I before I went to grab my item from the pickup counter, I noticed that they did not have any. Oh. They were gone, out, sold out. That's it, finito. Uh, and I am talking about 300, the 300 Best Buy Exclusive Steelbook. Oh, 4K collectible steelbook. Like, like I knew. Like when I saw this go up last night on on their site, I was, I was like, you know, like I like barely hesitated. Barely hesitated on ordering it because I like you know I was telling myself I'm like there's no way I'm walking in and picking this up off of the shelf it, it's just not happening it's a movie everyone's anticipated they didn't even have the regular one the regular 4K that's how highly sought after this this film is right now. Because people have been waiting for so long to get uh, 300 on 4K. But yeah, let's let's uh, let's dive right into this bad boy. Check her out. I I, I, I I haven't watched any unboxings for this. Any early unboxings? Nothing. I haven't seen the inside. I waited. I waited so I can see this all on my own. Uh, I mean, I don't even know if there's unboxing, but I'm I'm gonna assume people get their orders, you know, like you know Saturday or Monday and stuff. But oh uh, yeah, that oh look at that matte, that matte finish that looks so amazing. And then there's the back. I believe this has Dolby Atmos and. No Dolby Vision. I think that's because it's a Warner Brothers. But yeah, there were 300 who stood against a million. God, I love this film. This film was so good. Uh, yeah. Oh wow, I like that. I like that stuff on the back there. Let me pull pull the J card off briefly. There's the little sticky stuff. I'll I'll put it back on. But oh, but I like that wraparound cover. Let me do that. I like that wraparound cover right there. That's nice. That's nice. And then let me take the coat out so no one sees it. And here, here is the here's the inside. It's pretty exciting. Here, here let me pull out the discs so everyone can see everything. And yes, ah, yeah, the iconic. There's an iconic scene right there. I love it. I love it. Oh, let me put the code back in. And then, yeah, okay. And yeah, I'm going to put the card back on and yeah oh, and then yeah oh this thing's a beauty I love it 300 oh yeah such a good film and then we got I actually picked up here I'll, I'll put that aside for last but I actually picked up another uh this is a regular release and I've never seen this 
ever, ever, ever. I've never seen it. And I almost bought the steelbook today, but like, like it was five dollars more. This is twenty. The steelbook was twenty-five, and I'm like, but well, what if I don't like the movie? You know, and then you know, and then you know, if it comes down to it, and I want the steelbook, I'll I'll just go back and get it because it's been sitting there for months. But I'm talking about the or the the like the standard release. The non steelbook came came out today for Shutter Island with Leonardo DiCaprio. Who is it? Leo DiCaprio or here? Let me. Uh, okay. Leonardo DiCaprio, Mark Ruffalo, Ben Kingsley, Michelle Williams, Emily Mortimer, Patricia Clarkson, and Max Val, Max von Sydow. And yeah, and it's by Martin Scorsese. This has got Dolby Vision and regular Dolby Audio, which is okay. It's okay. Um, yeah, I have, I have never seen this before. I've heard of it, and you know what, like, I think I may have caught maybe, like, five minutes of it on cable, and I, like, for life, I just don't really remember any of it, and, I mean, you know, I guess that that's a good thing, so I can watch it in its entirety on here, and, yeah, I, I, I kind of like this cover all a, a little bit more than the steelbook, so, you know. Save five bucks, still get to keep the same movie. And the steel book doesn't have digital. I mean, some people may not care. Some people may, you know, you know just want the, the damn steel book. And then, you know, you're happy with it. But I like digital if possible because, I mean, I have my mother. Um, she has my, or uh, she has a login for my Voodoo account. And that's how she watches it. Because she doesn't have a, a physical collection, so I let her watch the digital stuff. So I mean, you know, this 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 is nice now. Um, and I'll probably put three hundred on there too. I mean, or maybe not. I don't know. Who knows? But yes, fam. I'm not talking about family. Let's get get back into movies here. Let's move that, and then yeah. It looks like a typical Paramount, wait, this is Paramount, yeah, a typical Paramount release with their, you know, black discs for 4K, blue discs for Blu-ray, uh, looks good to me, and yeah, yeah, 2010, I, I don't know why, like, you know what, I probably wasn't watching a, a lot of horror, you know, like horror thriller movies, so, and, in 2010, because that's when my son was born, and yeah, had to really f turn my focus on to him. So, eh, you know, but still, this would be a great one for Halloween watching. Uh, I mean, honestly, even though this isn't Halloween related, um, I, I want to watch it anyway. People get killed. People get killed. That's all you need to know. People get killed. Now, another 4K title. This one doesn't have a code, but it's got a 4K plus Blu-ray, and it's a two-disc collectible steelbook. And I can only be talking about probably one of the most underrated movies this year, and that is Tax Collector with... Bobby Soto and Shia LaBeouf, the tax collector. I actually have this on Voodoo. I, I, I bought it, but on Voodoo, you can't get 4K. So I was like, you know what? Screw that. I am getting it if it comes out on 4K. And it did in this glorious steelbook. I love it. It says, from the creator of Training Day and End of Walk. Looks like, looks, oh, I watched it, it's really good, it's got, it's a film by David Ayer, Ayer, uh, Bobby Soto, Cynthia Carmona, George Lopez, I love George Lopez, 
and Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, it was really good. It, it, it was a really, really good film. Uh, it doesn't look like it's Dolby Vision or anything, or like Dolby Atmos, but I don't know. It says TTS HD Master Audio. I'm assuming it's going to be as good as, or no, not as good. It's going to be as good as it gets for a 4K, you know, uh, you know, unless they re-release it or something with, with like, a t- t- Toby Vision or whatever have you. But yeah, gonna be careful. Don't want to use the the knife on this one. So I'm going to. Open this up. Oh, last, 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 but that, oh, the little thing fell off. You know, wants to come off the back. The little slip card. Probably not going to keep the card for that because the back artwork for this looks too nice. For my family, I live. For my family, I die. For my family, I kill. There, there, there. That's a nice. That's a nice one. Yep, and then, wow, I like the, the disc artwork is pretty damn colorful. There's the 4K, there's the Blu-ray, and I think it's got some artwork, yeah, look at that, that uh, looks pretty dope, that looks pretty dope under there. Oh. There we go. No code. There's no code in this one. So it's either buy the physical 4K or buy the HD one for the digital. Because there's no 4K. There's no 4K for digital. At least on Voodoo. Maybe on iTunes, but who knows? But yeah, tax collector, watch it. It's great. I mean, you know, you, you may think that it sounds re- ridiculous with you know Shia the Buff in here, but his character. And then I picked up one that I have. Let me see. When did this come out? I don't even know when this release came out, but. I know it was a few years back, and I had ha, had been getting, you know, all the parts to the seasons, and then I got the other movies, and this was the only one that I didn't have, and I saw it for 15 at Best Buy, and I'm like, okay, it's the last copy, it's $15, it's been 15 for like a year and a half now, I gotta give up the go. Okay, and I got it, and it is Sailor Moon Super S, the movie, says, for the first time, completely uncut and remastered. Ah, uh, yeah, it is, yeah, definitely, uh, oh, I cannot wait, I wait to check, check this out. And I love getting these with the slip covers. You know, I love the anime stuff with the slip covers. Can't can't go oh, can't go wrong. Oh, I hope I did not damage that. Oh, okay. No, okay, okay, it's good. But yeah, see, it was sealed around the slip cover, so no one can just take the slip cover and then return it. But yeah, they'll see. Though usually they do like like you know all alternate artwork, so it's not the same artwork as this. But uh, yeah, see, I'm in super S the movie. Let me.
Okay, that's I have, I have, same as the back of this one, I believe. Let me see. Same as the back, but different covers. Nice. Looks just like the other two movies where there's uh, the Blu ray is the purple one, and then the clear one is the DVD. It's nothing super fancy, but hey. Happy to have this finally, and now I'm, I, I basically, you know, now I don't have to procrastinate. Now all I need to actually pick up to complete the original Sailor Moon stuff is Sailor Moon Season 5 Part 2. Because I have Part 1 in the special, uh, like, you know, like the little hard box that, that they come in, the uh, limited edition ones, and... Like, they still want 50 even on sale. I saw it today, FS Buy, even on sale for part two. They still want forty nine ninety nine, And, I mean, like, I paid about $25 for each of my season parts from one to season four. And I, yeah, no, like... Like I like I paid twenty five dollars for each of the part one limited editions and like best deal ever. Like what should have probably have been like four or five hundred dollars in total, I paid probably around a hundred and something for the first few of them, and I have not looked back. But yeah, Sailor Moon, Super S, the movie. Yeah, 15 bucks. If you don't have it, go and grab it. Uh, I don't believe I've seen this before. Oh, I had only watched the series at, as a kid, but I had never seen the movies. And, yeah, the movies, like, and, like, like most anime movies, they, you know, don't connect to the series so much. Like, they're, they're usually, like, their own standalone you know, film, but, yeah. Great, great pickups, if you ask me. Sailor Moon Super S, the movie. The Tax Collector. Shutter Island, with Leo DiCaprio. And 300. I am so happy to have 300. Uh, literally, the last time I bought 300 was on DVD. I didn't even get the Blu-ray. Um, for whatever reason. I don't, don't even know, but... Glad to have it on 4K. Hopefully, they don't make an 8K version anytime soon. Because I do not want to re replace all of my 4Ks with 8K stuff anytime soon. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah. If you enjoyed enjoyed the video, like, com like, comment, subscribe for more, and go and pick these up. This was, this is what, 30 or 35? This is 20 for Shutter Island. Tax Collector is 20. I, I cannot believe that. A steelbook, a 4K steelbook for 20 bucks. And Sailor Moon Super S the movie. Pick them up, or else the cat will drag you out of your house and call you to death.